Back during the NBA Christmas Day games, Kobe Bryant, retired Los Angeles Laker, uh, has decided to spend his time in what the pro basketball talk puts it as a Sesame Street-esque way. Uh, obviously, Francis, for anybody who watches this, it's not really for our age group. Yeah. And it's definitely not for anybody uh, who's like in the you know grandparents category. Granted, it's a way for, I guess, Kobe Bryant to use his teachings to reach a younger audience. Mm -hmm. um, it is weird, it is Tim Burton-esque, he calls it Muse Cage. Here is a very small segment of it, I'm not sure how much of it we can show, so I'll give you the introduction where you're gonna meet Kobe and Lil Mama. Welcome to Muse Academy, I'm Kobe Bryant. And I'm Lil Mamba. And we are here to tell you all about the word Muse Cage. Muse Cage. <laughs> Um, what's a muse cage? A muse cage is a room decorated with any and everything that inspires you. There you go, Francis. I'm inspired. Are you? What would you put in your muse cage? Um, this coffee <laughs> to start with, because that's the only reason I'm going to get inspired is through coffee. Where's this from? Uh, this is my own homemade cup, this which is, is how how cool do those two colors go together? It makes it it makes it enticing. Don't draw it. <laughs> Don't draw it. Nice, it's my to-go cup. Um, but this is a, yes, you're absolutely right. It's not aimed at us. It's not aimed at anyone, I would think, above the age of 12, 13 maybe, when you get to that weird stage where say, you think everyone, every, you think you're cool on everyone, you know? Right, I was gonna say 25, because I'm 25, and I'm still gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah, if it's Kobe, that's the thing. And it's, uh, so I'm gonna kind of withhold my criticism of what it is by basically thinking it's someone trying to enlighten youth and, and find a new way to teach. If you want to create something like the Muse Cage that's going to gain inspiration, have at it. Uh, not a bad actor in that sequence, because I don't know if I could really get myself into the place where I would be so excited to talk to a puppet. puppet. Unless I was getting paid bajillions, which I'm sure he is. Well, he is, so he's teamed up, this was teamed up with ESPN, it's called a Canvas series. Mm. There's going to be more of these, there's two five minute videos, both I urge you to watch because, look, in for my own perspective, uh, I like it, and it had nothing to do with, with Kobe. If Dwight Howard did this, I'd still love it, right? And part of the reason is because I think that these weird animated style, like, I it, I wasn't a huge fan of Sesame Street, mm -hmm. but I love the Cookie Monster, right? So, like, to me, this is something that if I had kids and they liked basketball, I'd be like, look, look, Michael Jordan's a meme now. You don't want any part of that. Be more like Kobe. Get your muse cage. Find your little mamba. <laughs> Don't touch your little mamba. <laughs> it's too easy to make the joke. But I mean, I mean, look at that. Is there a screenshot? Yes. Just put it behind me. Perfect. Lovely. Look at it. Look at it. Where is he? Hey. It looks like the Loch Ness monster. It does, which does exist. You no, would know. No one has seen it's it. Just blurry, as Mitch Hedberg used to say about Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot's real. He's just blurry. Um, honestly, people like you want you want. To look like that's how people will look at Kobe. I'm digging the beard, by the way. And yeah, that's new. I feel like that's such a thing. Like when you finish doing something that you're expected to do, like whether it's your, it's your career or anything, you just need to do something a little different. So it's like I'm gonna grow a beard. Have you seen Letterman's beard? I have. Show a picture of Letterman, which we'll throw in post. Uh, it's another thing that's surprising because that's he, an he, effort beard to an entirely new level. Yes. I mean, in his words, he was like, I was doing a show where I had to shave every day for like 35 years. Yeah. So now he's like, I'm not gonna shave for 35 years, which makes sense. Do you think that Casey Affleck still has pieces of food from the Oscar after party in his beard? Possibly, it's possibly. So. But in terms of the Muse Cage, uh, there, I mean, I'm excited for the next one. In the first one, he talks about uh, James. I'm sorry. In this one, uh, the most recent one, he talks about James Harden, Russell Westbrook. Yep. Uh, and then in the first one, he talks about guarding the best, so he's like LeBron James. So look, man, if you're an NBA fan uh, and you're a young NBA fan, so you only had the latter years of Kobe Bryant. You know who he is, and also if you're at the age where puppets and Sesame Street and uh, I don't know what is what is what's the big one. Dan, you have kid. What is the big one nowadays? Is Sesame Street still big? Uh, Yo Gabba Gabba. <laughs> but you think about it, it, it. There was never really. Well, when I grew up, there was never really a combination of that appeal with sports. Really, it was more just for so like, Space Jam. So yeah, Space that Jam was, was amazing. Like, that was a movie. <laughs> so I, I get the approach to it now. It's like, all right, let's get them thinking about their ideas around the sport uh, mm -hmm. early by using low mambas. 
Little <laughs> Loch Ness monster looking man. I'm surprised the internet is just giving this a pass. Well, this is the, I mean, everyone in the world gave him a pass for retiring on a poem apart from Jason Rubin. Yeah, of course. I don't care who, why. I who still, was still, I hope still people, fuming about the poem. Like, I'm not fuming. I'm working on the anger towards things, but just at the same time, like, it's the mo it's not God, whatever. You're not Walt Whitman. Regardless, <laughs> <laughs> you take the road less traveled, which I think is Robert Frost. Whatever. Totally besides the point. Uh, let us know what you think about Muse Cage. What is in your Muse Cage? You know, Francis's Muse Cage is very, very barren. It's got a pink topped cup of coffee. Pink top cup of coffee. And probably a Glasgow Celtic shirt. Absolutely. As should everyone's Muse Cage. No, mine doesn't have that.